Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a special preview of the upcoming Sims Free Play Winter Holiday Update for 2016. As always, many thanks to EA and FireMonkeys for giving us this special access so we can share this preview with you guys. And as always, this game does not belong to us, it's only a temporary version provided to us by the game developers with simoleons and LPs already included. We can't say when exactly the update will be, but stay tuned to your app store of choice so you can download it as soon as it drops. Also, be sure to check the video description below for any additional information. So normally, Sims Free Play Winter Holiday updates come in several parts. I think the last couple of years the update has followed a story that takes place over 12 days or so, like the 12 days of Christmas. From what we understand, this year's Winter Holiday update will be similar, but it will also be a community event. So like other Sims Free Play community events, like the Spa event and the Romance Island event, it will require all players of Sims Free Play around the world playing together to unlock the different parts of this update. We can't say too much about the theme or the story or anything because we haven't seen it yet, but we think it's going to be pretty cute. What we can show you in this video is some of the stuff that will eventually be unlocked through the different parts of the update. For instance, there's going to be some new furniture and items with a special theme, which we'll show you later in this video. But first, there's a whole new location to explore, a magical rainforest. We don't yet know how or when you unlock the magical rainforest because our special preview came with it already built. But it looks like you can get to the magical rainforest the same way you get to the Romance Island. For those of you who've completed the Romance Island event, tap on this boat here, and select the magical rainforest on the right. We're gonna bring two sims along with us because the more the merrier. There are nine or 10 locations throughout the magical rainforest and we think they'll be unlocked one by one as players progress through the update. But this is what the magical rainforest looks like with these locations fully unlocked. We're gonna show you the actions your sims can take in each location. Okay, where have our sims gone? These plants are a bit overgrown, don't you think? Yeah, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> there they are. This is what is super cool. Look how tiny our sims are, or how massively massive the plants are. Yeah. Not too sure which yet, and I don't know whether I'm reminded more of Alice in Wonderland or Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is going way back in time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're time traveling as well. No, just kidding. So from what we know, there is probably going to be a whole story attached to this magical rainforest. Uh, there's these tree stumps, it looks like, but we're tapping on them and nothing is happening. So whatever's going to happen with them is probably going to have to wait until the update actually comes. But here you can see they're having a little romantic swing on the set. And where to next? Let's go around in a clockwise direction. You can see there's a couple of different pathways here. Wait for partner and maybe serenade. You can do either yeah. four minutes or 20 minutes, it looks like. And there's a little fire. Let's turn that on. Very nice. Hmm. So yeah, this reminds me a bit of the outdoor camping ground area. Mm -hmm. You have camping ground, you have sing-alongs. There's another couple of things we'll get to later that also remind me of the camping ground area. I think there's a serenade option like this on the tropical romance uh, island as well. Right. So it's kind of like you could take that boat either to the tropical romance island if you've got it in your game, or you can come to the magical rainforest if you're looking for a little more magic in your vacation. That makes sense actually, because a lot we just had the swing one was pretty romantic. This is pretty romantic. Mm -hmm. So it's another romantic location, but this one where yeah, it's super magical in a very different way from the island. Okay, yeah, this is the next one. Eating ladybugs. Yeah, so you can see we've got some giant or normal sized daisies here. And the ladybugs are having a lovely time going around getting some food. And our female sim has a custard tart, <laughs> some honeycomb, I don't know what. But those ladybugs are having a very nice time. Some people call them ladybirds, you know. I should call them ladybirds. Oh, really? Um, you call them ladybirds? Yeah, fellow British people who are listening to me are probably going, what the hell is wrong with that guy? He has gone native. <laughs> okay, so this over here, going clockwise, is some kind of sparkling plant, and you have the option to take a duo flight. <gasps> Look at that! 
skirt. Wow, I love those boots. Look at that bluebell skirt. <laughs> and she, bodice made yeah. out of a leaf. That's really cute. <laughs> she's still got her hat on though. Yeah. And the guy's gonna. Okay. <gasps> she's got some. Yeah. She's got yeah, wings. Got wings. <laughs> so she's gonna fly. And he's changed into something just as colorful and natural looking. And they now look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is some beautiful dancing. <laughs> Flying dancing things. So this is kind of like the mermaids on the romance island, but this is oh, more fairies. Yeah, How beautiful. And we also have pet fairies, of course. Mm -hmm. I think if you completed the royal, royal lineage, lineage quest yeah. in the time limit, you got pet fairies, which are super cute. Which makes me think this is a normal sized forest, rainforest, with tiny sized people. <laughs> So maybe they're, like, they're the size of the pet fairies that you can yeah, get. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so over here we've got this dock. Look at that. It's like bound pieces of wood and <laughs> vines. This twigs. is really beautiful. Little tiny twigs. Yep. And a boat made out of a leaf. Yeah, a single, probably normal sized leaf. Oh, little seats with little bits of twigs as well. Go it's on, gonna get in. go Come on. And her paddle is made out of a leaf. <laughs> so detailed. I love it. Yeah, the artwork in this magical rainforest is just amazing. So we don't know for sure if the magical rainforest will stay in the game after the holiday event finishes, but it seems like it will work similarly to the Romance Island. So once you unlock it in your game, you unlock it forever. We hope so, anyway. Look at that. Aww. I think particularly because it's a community event, I think that would be... It would be a shame if we lost it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I think for the Ice Castle last year, was the Ice Castle? Yes. Yeah? That one, you know, it just came as part of the quest, so you invested in it, but not massively invested. But I think if we all invest together for unlocking these areas, we want to keep them so we can go back and have fun there. Agreed. All now, right. there's a couple more. I think there's one here. Uh, yeah, there's one there. Use slide for five seconds. Use a single giant lily pad leaf for a slide. <laughs> <laughs> and the little tiny pebbles for her climbing up the stairs. Something That's over cool. here. Bounce around for three minutes mm -hmm. and 30 seconds. So while one is coming up to the slide, the other one can go and bounce around on whatever that is. Spider web, I think it was. So here we go. <laughs> she changes into her swimsuit. Bounding she slides down the thing. <laughs> Cute. Nice. That looked fun. All right. And meanwhile, he's making his way over here to this spider web. Hmm. I don't see any spider. No. Probably a good thing, because <laughs> if the spider is massive size like the flowers, that probably isn't so pleasant. <laughs> I like the boing noises for the trampoline. Yeah. Okay. And... We've got a few more to go. This is a nice one. It's tapping on it. Wait for partner Please. again. So these are mushrooms, right? Yeah, this yep. is really cute. I don't know what the purple things are. I think they're just a flower. They're not mushrooms. Mm, they might be a type of mushroom, actually. They might. Oh, they're, yeah. yeah, it look. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I thought they were going to open it outwards, but I think yeah, that's the yeah. cap. And I don't know if that's a spider's web or something else. It looks glistening. <laughs> look, it looks like little jewels on it. So maybe mm. it's sort of like a fairy net or fairy dusted spider web. <laughs> they, like, run to each other. Very cinematic. <laughs> They've been practicing. <laughs> That's so pretty. It would be lovely if we got some fairy-themed outfits, like the ones that they used for flying, because... That would be really cool. Yeah, that would fit in with the general theme of it all. Okay, we've done... Have we done this one? Yeah, I think there's two more. There's this one, and there's the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. Okay. There's a, a tiny tea table made out of a mushroom. There's some vine chairs with a leaf. There's an acorn. An acorn teapot. Acorn, an acorn bowl, maybe? It's only acorn cups. Mm-hmm. And what is this? A little jar of honey. Big old blueberry. Oh, that's a blueberry, yeah. <laughs> that's a very, very big blueberry for a sim. It's a big teapot for a sim <laughs> as true. well. How oh, cute! Oh, that's really sweet. Yep. Oh yeah, she's gonna... she's chomping down. Alright. 
Okay, and then as you mentioned, the next thing is a bathroom because while you're here, you don't want to just be going anywhere. Although... Yeah, you, you could, but you don't want to ruin this pristine, magical rainforest with your your leavings. Well, a lot of plants, they do need watering. Yeah, but people are going to be wandering around <laughs> and frolicking in the plants and <laughs> finding ladybugs to make friends with, so... Yeah. Leave nature the way you found it, you yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. So I think that might be all the locations in the magical rainforest. If we've missed one, apologies. And as we said, there might be more to do with these tree stumps once the update actually drops. And now let's take a look at what some of these stations look like in the nighttime. So yeah, we got a different vibe, huh? Pretty cool. So now let's show you guys the special themed furniture. Again, we think these will be unlocked at some point during the update, but we don't know how or when, it's just that they were already included in our special preview access. So we've set up a lot here with things ready to go. If we go into our inventory, we can see we've already got some unlocked in the featured section, but just gonna go into the normal featured section in the home store just so you guys can see the prices. Yeah, and... so everything is in simoleons, which mm -hmm. is nice to see. So we have some rugs, mm -hmm. some outdoor plants. Big outdoor plants. And a whole bunch of normal indoor furniture. Uh, no kitchen items, but lots of other items for the house. And these are obviously also done in you know, a very strange scale. <laughs> Uh, we have a bed there with two daisy heads for the pillows. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess these are super-sized flowers for our normal-sized sims. So we have some bedside tables there. And we have something called a vine chest over here. Yeah, which is, yeah, like a, a wardrobe-like area. We've got some really beautiful lighting. There's a table lamp and a wall lamp. And we also have a rainforest themed fireplace. I think this is my favorite. And when we get into non-build <laughs> mode, we'll take a look at it. Okay, we've got a chair and we have a bookcase. Hopefully I've got that going the right way. And we have another tiny dining chair over here and a tiny dining table over here. And because it is a winter holiday update, we do have a Christmas tree. Let's grab our sims to come over and interact with some of the furniture. So we've got, as we said, the bed here. Look at that. Leaf theme. That is so nice. Daisies for pillows. Yeah. Oh, she's getting right into bed. Vines along the twigs and everything. Yeah. The bedside table has got that same theme with a... Is that like a basket? That's so Yeah, cute. I think it's a tiny woven basket under there. Yeah. And the same in the chest of drawers behind. Uh, the wardrobe chest. It's nice. It's got like a vase and a bowl. And is that a comb? I think it's a comb, yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of this looks like, yeah, it is tiny, like with the daisy pillows, the leaves there for the table. But some of it just looks super rustic. Mm. Uh, like that chest looks just super rustic. The bedside table, the lamps. I think it would fit really well with the magical cottage. As does that chair. I agree. And I like this fireplace. Yeah, Look at this that. Is awesome. That's really cool. It just looks like something out of the, you know, medieval times, I think. <laughs> or, uh, well, it's a little magical, but yeah, maybe it's like a fireplace that belongs in like a hut. Uh, exactly. You know, one of those huts with like a grass roof. Exactly. Yeah. I love this bookcase. Look at that. The books are beautiful. The books are beautiful. The vines going around the branches are also so lovely. I like the color they pick for the rugs here, for the leaves. It's like a really soft autumnal color to it. Orange is what some would call it. Autumnal? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> let's put that tree maybe there. That would be lovely. And let's take a closer look at this pine cone Christmas tree. So it's got magical glowing lights. They're not plugged in anywhere, well, but you know. <laughs> they never are in Sims. Cool. And then back here, we've got these humongous plants. So some flowers, some 
What are those green things called? Clovers? Sure. Three leaf clovers, maybe. Yeah. And here... Just a, a little piece of grass. Big piece of grass. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So that has been some themed furniture. I think it matches the magical rainforest stuff. So maybe they went on their magical rainforest vacation. They decided to bring home some souvenirs. <laughs> All right. So that is our preview of the Sims Free Play Winter Holiday Update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, feel free to subscribe because there is plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching.